The American Revolution is coming, and we're getting a clearer picture of how the colonial carnage will go down in Assassin's Creed 3 as we continue to see exactly how the eventful life of new series protagonist Connor Kenway will unfold. The expansive frontier land has garnered a lot of attention, and it's already proven itself to be both expansive and full of side activities like hunting and skinning wild animals. But it's cities like Boston and New York where the bulk of the narrative-driven action will take place. Soon after you arrive in Boston, you'll find yourself talking with one of America's founding fathers, John Adams, and engaging in skirmishes with British Army regulars. Offing tax collectors and intercepting smugglers is an excellent showcase for your assassin's fluid and incredibly varied combat animations, with different types of counters letting you throw, disarm, or outright kill your adversaries. Getting your hands on a firearm can quickly adjust the odds with a quick shot or a precision thrust of a bayonet. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? The free running is even more free, only requiring a single button to be held down in order to make your way across just about any type of obstacle, leaving your thumb free to manipulate your view and making sure you know where you're headed. With indoor and outdoor areas to contend with and a fair bit of rock climbing to be had, Connor will grab and bound off trees, cliffs, and moving objects to get where he needs to go. An early section of the game demonstrates your abilities as a younger Connor skims across a river to save a logger from the raging waters, and you'll face even more perilous situations down the line. <laughs> what this knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Connor's mastery of close combat and evasive maneuvers means that you'll have the tools to handle difficult situations, but it still pays to make friends. The Brotherhood feature returns as you're able to recruit allies through story interaction to help you with your dirty work. Helping to protect the rough and ready Frenchman Stéphane Chaffaut will earn you a loyal friend who is more than willing to put a sharp blade where it will do the most good. You'll also team up with your ally to participate in the infamous Boston Tea Party, tossing those unfairly taxed goods right into the ocean along with the corpses of your oppressors. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea's being dumped. Some of the newest footage we've seen shows Connor breaking into Fort Walcott, infiltrating the premises and putting secondary weapons like the hook rope and bow to use. The hook rope can be used to reel in a hapless opponent or hang him from the rafters, while the usage of the bow is more or less self-explanatory. After finding what you're after, you'll then have to escape the burning fort as it's torn apart by a naval bombardment. It's clear that the series will have its share of big moments in addition to a broader scope. Naval battles are a big part of this new, more expansive Assassin's Creed, a fleshed out side activity that comprises a considerable chunk of the game and shows off the impressive new game engine. As captain of the ship, you'll protect merchant ships and send volleys of cannonballs into your enemies. You manage your speed, designate targets, and set your course while avoiding rocks or mines. Fire front, ah! Multiplayer returns to the series with new modes such as Domination and Wolfpack. Domination, which we've seen previously, stages four-on-four -four battles to capture and defend. You can only kill within your territory, so you'll have to stealthily infiltrate enemy ground to snatch it away. Wolfpack features cooperative play with two to four players, and you'll need to coordinate your killing and movements to take out as many targets as possible under challenging time limits. With Ubisoft showing off substantial chunks of the game so far, it seems that their confidence in the second true Assassin's Creed sequel could be very well justified. Stay tuned to game trailers in the coming weeks as we find out if the final game will truly feel like a revolutionary step for the franchise. Cruel and unrelenting enemy leaves us only the choice of brave resistance or the most abject submission.